Hello everyone! Welcome <laughs> to our first big summer library program show in like three years. So it's very exciting to kind of be back. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so, um, yeah, and this, um, our magic show with Nikki Finn is um, sponsored by the Friends of the Oregon Public Library. And it's part of the summer library program, which you could still sign up to read and earn prizes. <laughs> I know, a lot of you heard me say this, but I'm just reminding you in case. <laughs> and this, I, was, I was dressed as a jellyfish at the time. <laughs> um, and then, um, and we also have a summer math adventures if you wanna try that. Um, and I also wanna thank the community ed staff for helping us um, organize the space and use the Prairie View gym. But, um, oh, and I always forget, but the bathrooms are just outside of the gym. To your right are the bathrooms in case you need them. Um, but now let's give a big warm welcome to Nikki Finn. Very thank you. Wow. Keep it going, folks. Come on. Woo. <laughs> nice. Wow. Well, just a moment ago, we weren't sure if anyone was going to show up, but the cameraman and suddenly, poof, here we are. So what an awesome, awesome show and moment this is going to be for myself and hopefully all of you as well. Hey, would you all like to see the first magic trick I ever saw back in 1993 when I was a little boy? Yeah? yeah? Make some noise again. You want to see that? Yeah! Ow. <laughs> Somebody got stuck. <laughs> Okay, raise your hands if you were alive in 1993. Hang on a minute. Wait, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I gotta get to the bottom of this. What were you doing in 1993? That's a pretty good answer. <laughs> well, way back, way back then there was a magician that I met and he took a handkerchief just like this. It was the same size, same shape, same color, same everything, only his was purple. And he took that handkerchief and he put it into his hand like this. And he waved it over the top. He gave it a huff, a puff, a wink, and a smile, and a cry. And that handkerchief was gone, completely vanished. Thank you. What? What? Can you open your hand? It is open. Oh, you, want, you want me to... It's not real. Is it now? I said to the magician, I said, Wow, mister, do that again. He said, I can't. And I said, why not? He said, because I don't have a handkerchief, kid. Get it? It was gone. <laughs> well, folks, where did it go? To the shadow realm. <laughs> that was a funnier joke if you've ever played Yu-Gi-Oh! But, folks, before we go on any further, my name, thank you, Miss Kelly, for introducing me. My name is Nikki Finn, and we do have some rules of the show. This is the part where I get a little bit serious because these are the rules. Do you see this invisible line right here? Smart audience, y'all said no. Hang on a second, hang on. It's an invisible line. It's an invisible line. If you get up and cross the line, I stop the show. If I stop the show, you see these tricks here? I go and I put them in my pocket, I take them out. It means you're not gonna see them. It means the show is shorter. Do you want a short show or a long show? Long Good answer. <laughs> There's always one. Rule number two, when I'm talking, Please, you don't talk. Don't raise your hands and yell things out at me like, it's up your sleeves, or I know how you did it. You see, I pick tricks that you don't know how it's done, and I wore a short sleeve, so you can't say it's up my sleeves. If your hand's up, I won't call on you unless I ask you to raise your hand. So please do not shout things at me, but you may laugh, clap, cheer, that sort of thing. The parents are like, I see what he's doing. You gonna, is he going to set the groundwork? All right. All right, so that being said, are we going to cross the invisible line? Yeah. Are we going to shout things at me that are inappropriate? Yes. Then we're going to have a good show now that all that's being said. 
and done. Perfect. Folks, this here is called a handkerchief. Handkerchief. In Thailand, they call it pa chet na, which means cloth that wipes your face. Can anyone here speak Thai? That's Spanish, but close enough, kind of. Anyway, here's what we do. We take this and the ends of the handkerchief like this and we roll it up. And then I tie for you what's called a knot knot. This is a knot knot, watch. It's a knot knot because when you try to tie the knot and you pull, it doesn't tie. I'll do it again. Knot knot, you see how it works? You take this end, you put it in there and you pull, it doesn't tie. I'll do it again, no worries. I'll break rules of magic and do it for a third time. Only I'll give you a chance to actually see the knot. There it is. You can see the knot. It's right there. You can go ahead and feel the knot. Go ahead and touch that. Thank you. I appreciate your willingness to participate. No, sir, you can. Go ahead and give it a squeeze. Does it feel like a knot? Say yes. Absolutely. But it's a knot knot. Is it not? Not. Save your applause, folks. This is just a warm-up. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I've never seen that before. This is, I, I like that. I'm going to add that to the next show. It's like an otter. It's like a seal clapping. Okay. Uh, if you take this, you fold it in half once, what shape do we get, children? That's right. It's a rectangle. It's folded in half again. What is the shape now? Absolutely correct. You take this square and you roll it corner to corner. Just like this, corner to corner, just like that. Not bottom to top, not top to bottom, not left to right, but corner to corner, you get this shape. Everyone can see that, say, uh-huh. <laughs> All right, then you take this and you fold it down like that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, because there's magic all around us, we can use our imaginations just a little bit. Grab a little bit of this magic here, and if I throw it at this situation, watch what happens. Save your applause, folks. It gets better. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Or we can take a little piece of hair. Can I just grab a little bit? No? Okay. That's okay. I'll grab it from you. Too late. I already got it. I'll tie it around like this and knot it up and pull. Looks good, doesn't it? Ha, 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 ho, ha, hmm, hi-ya, hi-ya. I learned that from Cobra Kai. <laughs> that joke was for you, sir. <laughs> Would you like to see a rabbit from the hat? Oh, darn, nobody's wearing a hat. <laughs> Wait a minute, this guy is. This guy is, all right. I'm gonna, can you just give me a little bit of room here? I'm going to squeeze right on in here. Scoot. Do you mind if I, can I see your hat, sir? Thank you, I'll give it right back, I promise. Thank you, Woo wee I haven't been wearing my hat lately because of the amount of heat. <laughs> Look at that, all right. Here it is, the old rabbit from the hat trick. Not even my hat. Look, folks, a hair. No, really, look, it's right there. You want to see a real bunny? Okay, hold this hat just like this. Hold your hand like that. We're going to use this as a table. Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold the gentleman's hat up. All right. All right. You want to see a rabbit? Here it is, folks. As per your request. Look, here it is, a rabbit. Give that gentleman a round of applause for letting me borrow his hat. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Rabbit from the hat. Hey, we have to establish the magic words of the show because we're going to use some magic words throughout the show. And to do that, I'm going to summon and bring out for everybody the mystical, the magical genie of the lamp. Ooh. Ah. Here's how it works, folks. I rub the magic lamp and boop, out pops the genie. 
The genie will then give us the magic words for the show, which we'll use for the rest of the show. Got the idea? Okay. <clears throat> genie, genie of the lamp, give us the words for today's magic camp. Let me try it again. He's sleeping. Genie, genie of the lamp, give us the words for today's magic camp. Wake up, buddy. No! I said genie of the lamp, not weenie of the lamp. <laughs> well, folks, that's what happens when you get your ideas from magic books written in the 20s. <laughs> Looks like we got to get the magic words from you. Not you, but the rest of you. Or maybe you. Do you have a magic word? Again? Give her a round of applause. She said, please, that was really awesome. Thank you. That means this is a polite group. Sometimes the, the crowd doesn't even say please or thank you. But yes, please and thank you are very good magic words to use. Fantastic. Raise your hands. I will call on you if you have another magic word. Sir, uh is a really odd magic word. I've never heard that one before. What is it, sir? Hello. Okay. I'll accept that. Hello. How about uh, you? Yes, with a Hurley shirt. Abracadabra. Ooh, that's a classic. Sorry, that's not a Hurley shirt. That's an Under Armour shirt, but it looked like an H. It threw me off. Abracadabra. Nice magic word. Uh, how about you, sir, in the orange? What's it? Grant my wish. Okay. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like it. Let's get a couple more. Uh, yes, you lady with the pink shirt. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you say that one more time, please? What book is that from? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Oh, cool. That was a good one. I should have, this sounded familiar because I read the books. Actually, the audio tapes. Listen to the audio tapes. But that was a good one. Let's get two more. Um, sir with a really cool shirt on. Bippity boppity boo. I like that one. We might be using that. I like that. One more. Sir with a Wisconsin shirt on. Mishka Mushka. Oh, wow, that was really, Mishka Mushka. Wow, I'm torn between Bippity Boppity Boo and Mishka Mushka. Let's give a raise your hands if we want to use Bippity Boppity Boo or Mishka Mushka. All right, Mishka Mushka it is. Thank you, sir, fantastic. Here's how it works, folks. Throughout the show, we're going to make some magic happen. And when it does, this is how we do it. Everybody stick your hands up like this. Everybody, adults as well. Unless you're holding a baby. Please don't, ma'am. Please don't. <laughs> She's like, no, don't do it. <laughs> Stick your hands out at me. Wiggle your fingers. When I count to three, everybody says, Mishka, Mishka on three. One, two, three. Mishka, Mishka. <laughs> I got goosebumps for that one. Very cool. All right, here's how it works, folks. I have something to show you. I have many things to show you. Actually, uh, I should say this first. I'm getting really parched, which means dehydrated, which means thirsty. All this talking that I'm doing is making me thirsty. And so what I'm going to do, what I've decided to do throughout the show is drink a little bit of water. And the idea is that to promote the he a healthy hydration of all of our cells and a friendly reminder to you all to drink as much water as we can as uh, these summer months and weeks heat up on us. So that being said, I'm going to make sure I get all of it there. Cool. That being said, uh, please drink as much water as you can, folks. It's really important. And cheers. Mm. Now, the thing that I wanted to show you is right here. This is one of my favorite magic tricks. Um, it's actually a bouquet of flowers, multicolored flowers. And I'm not using the real flowers because, well, some people might have some allergies, right? So the idea, oh. Hang on a minute. Miss Kelly, did you see somebody touch the flowers before the show? Huh. Okay, folks, I got to go and find these quick. Listen, if anyone sees the flowers, I need, I need, I need you to help me. If you see the flowers, kids and adults, you have to say, Nikki, because that's my name. You say, Nikki, when you see the flowers. Well, but you only say, Nikki, when we see the flowers. Got the idea? All right, cool. Now, they're back here somewhere. Let me find them. Maybe. Yeah, did you see them? What's up? 
No, they're not there. I'm watching you, buddy. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, somewhere you saw the flowers? No, they're not behind me. These aren't flowers. No, I'm not talking about these flowers. They're supposed to be here. So let me go and find them one more time. All right, you guys are really... What, where? You guys are... You guys. It's not nice to tease the magician. So here's what we'll do. We'll try the magic words. Not yet. Here's how we do it, like we practice, folks. Remember, the magic words are mishka mushka. Stick your hands out at me. Wiggle your fingers. One, two, three. That's about it. There it is. Thank you. Wow. I gotta stop storing these at grandma's house. They're smelling like mothballs. You know that smell mothballs give? It's like a funky smell. Listen, folks, uh, <laughs> like I said, all this, all this talking is getting me really dehydrated. A friendly reminder, everybody drink as much water as you can. So that we stay hydrated and healthy and uh, cheers. All right. Uh, here it is. <laughs> I'm going to show you something that it's, uh, it's going to look like magic, but it's not magic. For you adults over there, pay attention. You're going to like this one. This looks like a, a regular rope. In fact, it is a regular rope. Uh, can you grab this end for me, please, sir? Just hold it. Now, give it a little pull. Does it come apart? Yeah. It, it doesn't. Let go, please. Thank you so much. Folks, back in the day, there was a vaudevillian performer. His name was Will Rogers. And what Will Rogers used to do was flick his hand like this, and in the middle of the knot of the rope would appear a knot, like that. But I just tied it with two hands. See, what we're going to do is attempt to do this with one hand and without ever letting go. It's hard to imagine, but you're going to see how it looks here in a second. By the way, I don't just do shows for libraries and schools. I also do shows on the streets. Street shows. Now you see how you all magically, not magically, but you appeared here before me as if by magic at the right time, right? See, I didn't have to earn the crowd. The crowd came to me. When you're doing street magic, folks, you have to earn the crowd. And one of the ways that I do that is with this piece of rope. I'll just stand there at the top of State Street, Madison, Wisconsin, or some place, some high street somewhere in the world, and I'll do what I'm about to show you. And then finally, I'll look up after a few minutes of doing this, and there'll be a crowd here. It's really cool, and I'll show you how it looks. Folks, like I said, it's going to look like magic, but it is not. It is physics. If I get this on the first try, go nuts. Big round of, big round of applause. It is physics. That's correct. Big round of applause because it's taken me 16 years of practice and no social life. That's not funny, ma'am. No, it is funny. One time I said that. I said, 16 years of practice and no social life. Audience laughed and said, that's not funny. No joke, a five-year-old girl stood up. She said, yes, it is. <laughs> Happened in Boulder, Colorado. <laughs> All right, here it is. If I don't get it on the first try, I will try second. Not the second, the third. And we'll do this until, god dang it, I'll get it. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> that's really hard. That's a real knot. It looked like magic, didn't it? It happened so fast. And something I noticed today is that it makes a really cool sound. I don't think you can hear it, but from my perspective, it makes like a sound. It's really neat. Now, at this point, I would look up, and there would be some audience members on the streets, right? And then I would do this. I would take this rope, and I would throw it at a young lady. Catch it. Awesome. Grab both ends, please. Confirm one more time for us all that it is one piece. It is, yes? Thank you. Throw that back to me. Awesome. Watch what happens next. <laughs> Come here, please. Give her a round of applause as she makes her way to the stage. 
Hi. Thank you so much for giving us uh, your assistance. And what's your name, please? Ava. Ava, thank you, Ava, so much for helping us. Now, but anytime you bring a, a young adult up during a street show, the crowd gets bigger. But here's the thing that I'm going to mention to all of you. Hold that for me, please, Ava, right about there. At this point, because the start of the show is all, uh, the street show is music. This is talking, obviously, it's a little bit different. But I would give that piece of rope to a young lady, and I would have her attempt to make the knot into the rope, just as I did. Now, Ava, 16 years I've been doing this rope trick worldwide. Only six, count them, six kids, young adults, have successfully thrown the knot into the rope. I'm going to ask that you do the same. Understand that what I'm asking you to do, frankly, Ava, it's almost impossible. But there is a very teeny tiny percent chance that Ava might succeed. If Ava succeeds at throwing a knot into the rope, understand y'all ain't ever going to see something like this ever again in your lifetimes. But if you do succeed, Ava, they're going to go nuts. They're going to clap their hands, something fierce. OK, would you like to see it one more time so you know what to do? That's fair, because I do want you to to succeed and do this. Don't look at the rope. The rope is kind of what everybody looks at the first time. Look at what my arm does. That's the key. Watch. OK, it didn't work. Hang on. <laughs> no, it's gonna, not going to work, right? Yeah. All right, hang on. This is the 30-minute part of the show. <laughs> Slipknot. There it is. OK. Did you see it? OK, cool. Ava, <laughs> this is your chance. You can give it about 10 tries or so until you feel comfortable. Careful not to let it bop you in the eye at the other end. OK, Ava? Go for it. Oh, that was close. Keep going, Ava. Don't quit. Yeah. There you go. Keep trying. Keep going. Wait, OK, how about this? Try your left hand. OK, Ava, how about this? Pick up the other end. And uh, ho! <laughs> awesome. That was so cool. Ava, that is a fantastic job you just did. Thank you so much for doing that. That hearts for you. I'll take the rope back, though. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Give her a round of applause as she makes her way to the seat. <laughs> wow. I don't know if you all saw that, but Ava came really, really close to hitting it on the first try. Did you see that? Did you see that? All right. I'm not making it up. I actually saw it form, but then it slipped out at the last minute. Good job, Ava. So let that be a reminder to all of you. Just because something might be impossible or seem impossible doesn't mean it is. You can always keep trying and keep trying until you get it, or maybe take a shortcut and get it nevertheless. <laughs> well, folks, like I said, I want to remind everyone to drink as much water as you can because it is getting hot outside. So please stay hydrated with water. <laughs> what? Well, just because something appears impossible doesn't mean that it is. Cheers. Mm. Well, raise your hand if you know what this is. <laughs> uh, Ma'am with a, with a uh, construction shirt on. <laughs> and what does Floss do? What does Floss do? Round of applause, please. It goes in between your teeth, and it gets where the toothbrush can't reach. In fact, I've learned that sometimes floss does a much better job than brushing your teeth, but I do recommend both. Gently, right? You know, stabbing motions, gently with a toothbrush. Um, this is a true story. My niece, who was... At the time, she was six. She came in, she visited me with her mom, who's my sister. She visited me, and my niece uh, wanted to know what this was. And she said, Uncle Nicky, Uncle Nicky. 
what is this? And I said, well, Beatrix, because that's her name, Beatrix. I said, this is floss. And she said, what does it do? I said, it cleans in between your teeth where the toothbrush can't reach. And she said, well, how do you use it, Uncle Nicky? I said, like this. First, you take a piece of floss about this long. And she went and she took a piece about this long. And I said, oh, sweetheart, no, that's not the right size. It's got to be a little bit longer than that. So she went and she took another piece. She said, how about this, Uncle Nicky? Yeah. <laughs> I said, no, Beatrix, that's still too short. Not long enough. So she kept going. And she kept cutting pieces like this, short and short. And in a couple minutes, I said, Beatrix, honey, I'm not going to have any more floss if you keep doing that. And she didn't stop. She kept going. And I said, OK, this is, uh, I said, Annie, get your kid out of my bathroom, please. This isn't working. <laughs> it's my sister's name, Annie. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I had an idea. One of the places that I love to go and visit is the library, right? Don't we all love the library? Yeah. At the library, there was a book that, I don't know if I should say this. OK, so listen, at the library, there's a section that has magic books, OK? I'm not supposed to say that it's against the, do we have, we got magic books at Oregon Library? OK, you see, the cat's out of the bag, or the rabbit's out of the hat, whatever you'd like to come up with. Now you all can go there and find, maybe find how to do this trick. But I went to the library at that time, and there was a book. I went to Stoughton Library. I shouldn't have said that, because I knew where to find the book. Jeez. Um, <laughs> and the book said, take all the pieces back but one. Keep one piece here and the rest here. It then said to roll up all those little pieces and do a little teeny tiny ball. This is going to get harder to see as it gets smaller, but it'll make it easier for you. you see, that's why the backdrop is black, so that you can see the contrast of the color. Can everybody see that? Say, uh-huh. Yeah. Cool, easy to see. It said take that ball of floss and stick it to that last remaining piece, which I did. The book then said to make sure you have a magic word. Do we have the magic words here today? Yeah. Mishka Mushka, right? Everybody stick your hands out at me. Wiggle your fingers, Mishka Mushka on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Then said to grab the other end and pull. And if you did it right, which I think we did, you'll get a round of applause. Perfect. I'll save that for dinner at Culver's later. <laughs> well. Speaking of storybooks in the library, how many would like to hear one of my favorite stories? Literally one of my favorite stories. It starts like this. Once upon a time, once upon a time, there was a smart Alec King. He thought he was smarter than everybody in all the land. So he made a challenge, a game. He said that if anybody can fool him three times in a row, he would give that person the crown, the castle, and everything else within the kingdom. <laughs> what kind of king does that? What kind of king makes that sort of challenge? Well, this king did. Within the kingdom, there was a magician. In fact, I heard that most kingdoms nowadays also have magicians. That magician's name was Herb, spelled H-E-R-B. And yes, I said H, not H. America is one of the few countries that says H instead of H, or Z instead of Z. Did you know that? Have you ever heard of a zebra? It's a lot like a zebra. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, Herb accepted the challenge. Herb approached the king with two sticks that looked very much like this. Two solid wooden sticks, two bushy red tassels. Everybody can see this? Say, uh-huh. Cool. Now see, right here, there's a bushy red tassel which is tied off to a little, like a loop. It's knotted off here, and it runs up this end, and you see at the end of each stick is a, a hole drilled through. And uh, at the end of that other uh, part of the cord is another loop. Everyone can see that? You see, because if that loop wasn't there, it would fall right through. <laughs> so like I said, Herb <clears throat> accepted the challenge. And Herb approached the king, and he said, your majesty, when I pull the short string thusly, the short string becomes long and the long string becomes short. Is that not amazing? And the king said, yes, that's 
not amazing. <laughs> Herb. Obviously what's going on here is the sticks are connected at the front and that's where the strings loop through. Herb said, your majesty, that is the first time that I have fooled you. Because the sticks aren't connected at the front, there's nothing there at all. Yet I can still pull the short string, it becomes long, long string, pull it becomes short. <laughs> the king said, ah, ah, ah. They're not connected at the front, Herb. They're connected at the back. At the back, that's right. Show us what your left hand is holding, said the king. And Herb did. There it was, folks. The strand that connected the two sticks together. Everyone can see that? The king was not impressed, but Herb said to the king, Your majesty, will you come and help me, please? Peasants, give your king a round of applause. Thank you. I don't know why in the 1300s their particular king wore Nike running shoes, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you for helping me, sir. I appreciate that. There's a pair of scissors on my table. Pick those up. Be very careful with it. Cool. What's one thing we never do with scissors, kids? That's right. We never run with scissors. Sir, do just as Herb instructed the king to do and cut that center strand. Thank you so much. Perfect. Set them back on the table and enjoy the rest of the show. Give them a round of applause, folks. <laughs> that joke just came to me. Well, there was a king wearing Nike shoes in the 1300s. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to stick with it. Well, folks, with the sticks absolutely disconnected, there's no way the trick was going to work. By the way, sir, did my scissors feel a little bit awkward to you? They are left-handed scissors. Are you left or right-handed? Uh, right Aha, welcome to my world. You see, I use left-handed scissors just to watch the right-handed people struggle with them. He actually did pretty good. You did well. Uh, Mr. Kyle, did I hear was your name? Connor, Connor, Mr. Connor. Okay, thank you, Mr. Connor. King Connor. <laughs> The trick was not going to work with two discs with no uh, strand in the middle. Yet Herb took that short string and he pulled, became long, long string pulled and he became short. Oh. That's the reaction this usually gets. Oh, like that. Well, the king didn't want to be fooled a third and final time and lose everything that the king had to offer, the crown, the castle, everything else, and lose it to the smart Alec magician. So he thought about it, had a cup of tea or two. He had 20 cups of tea, you see, he's from England. And as he did, Herb played with the short string. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do. And then Herb reached over and played the long, with the long string. Oops, uh-oh, long string. Oh, no. The king had seen what had happened, and he said, <laughs> Herb, you silly magician, there's no way the trick's going to work now with two long strings. And do you know what Herb said? Your Majesty, that is the third and final time that I have fooled you. Because all I need is the hair from the head of a princess. You can do it to mine. <laughs> Thank you, dear. By the way, ladies, any princess would do. <laughs> that was really funny, actually. <laughs> and her went ahead and tied one end of that practically clean hair to this end of the loop and the other end to the other. We reached out our hands, wiggled our fingers. One, two, three. Musha, musha. Herb grabbed that center strand and pulled to the roof. Winning the castle, the crown, and everything else within the kingdom. Thank you. Ah. Oh. By the way, that, did you ever wonder why they called it a round of applause? Because if it was a square of clapper, y'all would look like this. Yeah, folks. And uh, just a friendly reminder, Herb only enjoyed kingship for about three days because at the third day, after the third day, they had what's called a coup d'etat. <laughs> Stay hydrated, folks. Uh, it's important to drink a lot of water.
Folks, it's so difficult for anyone to come up on stage in front of people they know or don't know and do what I heard Tristan is her name, what Tristan is doing, what these other folks have done. It's so difficult to do that. Let's please give them an Oregon round of applause. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming up on stage and doing what you're doing. I'm fascinated that your, your Adidas red shoes are a hybrid shoe and Velcro. I love that combo. You got cool socks on, you got on shorts to help combat the heat. Mario Kart, yeah. You got a cool haircut, you got earrings in both ears as if like one ear wasn't cool enough, you had to double it up on it. Do you have any idea what you're saying? No. Well, your name's Tristan, correct? Yes. Everybody say hi, Tristan. Hi. Tristan, say hello. Hello. Don't be bashful one by one. Hello, hello. That was a joke. <laughs> Tristan, we can't send you home with a broken balloon, can we? Why am I speaking with a British accent? What's going on? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a lot like English. Well, uh, American English. Uh, uh, Tristan, listen, it's unclimactic to send you home with a broken balloon. That is not cool. We have to fix it. Don't you agree? Yes. So first, we'll take the magic bag, 
which is also AKA a brown paper bag. Thank you, Quick Trip. Uh, look inside the bag. Tell everybody what you see. Nothing. Perfect. Put the pieces in, please. Tristan. Dankeschön. Which means thank you. Now, do you remember that magic wand we used earlier with the apple trick? Yeah, well, we're going to use that again because every magician has a magic wand. Tristan, you wave the wand over the bag and the mouse will fix itself. Grab it right there. Do your thing, Tristan. <laughs> Whoa, you broke my magic wand, dude. Tristan, what am I supposed to do for the next show? Hang on a second. Hang on, we can fix this. You hold it like this. There it is. Wave it over the bag and fix your balloon. Go for it, Tristan. Do your thing, brother. I said wave, not dangle. <laughs> but that's okay. Tristan, we have to do the second thing. And this is really important. Now, uh, that used to be a lot easier 10 years ago. Okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's like, yeah. Tristan, what you do is, when I, when I count to three, we're not going to use the magic words that we've been using throughout the show, but we're going to use you and your magic smile. Do you have a magic smile? No. Say yes. Listen, when I count to three, you got to wave your hand over the bag like this. It doesn't matter right hand or left hand, irrelevant, but you wave your hand over the bag. As you do that, you look at everyone, including the camera up there, and you give them your magic smile. Tristan, if I were you, my magic smile would be like this. Okay. You hear how they're laughing? Yeah. You're going to make them laugh and applaud a lot more crazier than that. Are you ready, Tristan? Are you all ready? Yeah! One, two, three. <laughs> Pretty good, Tristan. That was a good job, buddy. Gently tear open the bottom of the bag. You can use two hands if you want, but kind of, there it is. Tear it up. Don't be shy. It's like Christmas. Just not so aggressive. Good. Keep going. Now you see there's something in there. I want you to take that out, Tristan. Go ahead and grab it. That's for you. There's that there, too. Take that one there, Tristan. There it is, buddy. Man, you did a great job. Thank you so much for your help. Have a beautiful day, buddy. Thank you. Give it up for Tristan. Come on. <laughs> well, I must say, this was a fantastic crowd. And folks, of all the audience members that I've ever had worldwide, literally of all the audience members that I've ever had worldwide, you all are definitely one of them. Well, it's true. Folks, my name is Nikki Finn, and it's been a great privilege, pr privilege, pleasure, and an honor. Thank you, Miss Kelly, for having uh, me here at the first show that we haven't had in like three years, so thank you. It's good to be in front of a live audience again. Yeah. For the adults here, I do have a name card here. This is my Nikki Finn Funny Money. This is a uh, mildly older version, mildly older version of me but it's still me. You can have one. You can hire me for a birthday show, corporate company, uh, corporate event, festival, uh, family gathering, something like that. If you like one, just come up to me after the show. Before you leave, I'll be more than happy to give one to you. Folks, one more time, my name is Nikki Finn. Have a beautiful, magical day. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Go home safe, stay hydrated, as I showed you. <laughs>